Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the intelligent transport systems, guys. So basically, intelligent transport systems. So from the name only, you can identify. So it is a transport system which has intelligence. So it can observe something. So it can analyze something. So it is having talent. So that is nothing but intelligent transport system. So basically, for you are giving some you are using some technologies or tools to intellectually predict the transportation and all those things and you will be analyzing some things to decide some things in transportation so that concept is nothing but intelligence transport system so ids are transport systems that apply modern information technologies like image processing and all those things okay information technologies to improve the operation of transport network so to smooth the movement of transport we'll be using so these systems acquire vast volumes of data on various aspects and process that process them and apply the results to guide traffic improve operations and enhancement of the safety so our goal is to increase the safety and for the smooth movement of traffic so that is the reason why we will be using these intelligent transportation systems guys okay yes so i hope everyone got some basic idea on it right yes so intelligent transport system needs okay so it needs some equipment so any kind of devices or gadgets you can say and it also requires the materialistic information so what information it want okay yes so these are the basic needs of the ITS guys okay so if any kind of two marks question is asked you can write it on your own right so requirements so requirements are nothing but what are the, sorry equipments equipments are nothing but the devices so what are devices so if it is an automated system you it needs some cameras like if it is a traffic sensing system it needs cameras it need image processing it needs that equipment it needs a server to process those all things it needs a system and everything you will be writing in terms of equipment and information information is nothing but the images that you need to collect those things will be coming under the information guys okay yes so i think you can write on your own so anyway while we are in applications if even if these questions are coming you can write the applications and show this equipment and the information in them guys so both of them will work so anyway while discussing explain uh, while discussing applications i'll be pointing out on these things guys okay yes so don't worry about it okay so first let us just go through the application names and in the next lecture we will be discussing about four to five applications in detail guys okay so the first application is monitoring a traffic flow and providing information so basically by observing the traffic flow you will be main you will be understanding what to do and based on that analysis you will be giving the signals and all those things guys okay so based on the congestion on the road and all those things okay Similarly, the second application could be AI, sorry, ATIS, guys. That is nothing but Advanced Travel Information System. Gives information to highway users on traffic jams, roads, and everything. So, you can say that it is some kind of FM or something, which gives information to the users who are traveling on that particular road, okay? Similarly, monitoring incident on the road so basically this is a system whenever something bad happens or some breakdown of vehicle or any kind of collision occurs so this system will identify that on that particular road okay similarly electronic collection of tolls okay similarly intelligent vehicle highway systems ivhs popularly called as guys please remember the short forms also guys in some examinations they could give you the short form and they'll ask you to explain so you need to have the idea about the, that right yes so intelligent vehicle highway system so in which vehicles are guided longitudinally and laterally by the use of electronic devices okay similarly advanced vehicle control system that is nothing but avcs okay so this is a nothing but to identify the humans and all those things guys okay yes so in this way we are having a few more applications you can just go through those names guys okay yes so in the next lecture we'll be discussing in detail about these applications guys okay yes so in the, let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching